Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. And we have an inverter in the lab. Guys, it's on the desk, you can see. I've done the unboxing already because, uh, yeah, I had it filmed, but I had to redo it because of the sound. This is MWXNE, okay? That's the company. So it came nicely shipped in a box with heavy duty polypropylene type inserts. It cut. This is a 12 volt version, but it has a bunch of different voltages, DC voltages, uh, input, output, 100 to 120. This is 120, all the way up to 240. Pure sine wave or modified. This is a pure sine wave. So they make lots of options. Uh, yeah, I'm glad they reached out and asked me if I wanted to review this because I'm really excited about making some emergency power stations uh, I've got another inverter, so and I've got several batteries. You just take your 12-volt lithium-iron phosphate battery, hook one of these things up to it directly, and uh, yeah, it's got DC ports on it, and it'll give you AC power for your, your refrigerator, what have you. And yeah, let's jump over here, take a closer look, and let's get this video going. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Appreciate it. I had to redo this video again to opening section because for some reason the first couple minutes of my last of my intro video uh no sound and then it just came on weird is there sound yeah i think okay i see the thing moving so basically i'm just going to do a box opening and i'm going to power it up to show you the displays and show you some of the features okay and we're going to do a full up video where we run this thing off of a battery all right so Let's come over here, take a look. Okay, guys, this is the unit right here. You can see I got pretty large hands, but you can see the kind of size of it. Um, there's the information there. There's what that looks like. You can see these big girthy terminals, big lock washers. That's nice. All right, and then here's this end. So, yeah, isn't that cool? The PD 60 watts, 18 watts for this guy another 18 and 24 watts so and there's a little nut for the ground that's just to tie the metal pieces together okay that's not like your safety ground like you'd normally think so that's why it's kind of small so here is this little remote control with the little bracket this is a bracket you'd uh mount to your wall or something it's a little clip that holds that remote control in Oh, wow, look, there's little antenna, so it's RF, which is nice. That probably means it has further distance it can go versus IR or USB or something. But, yeah, here's fuses. Guys, here's those heavy cables. They look pretty girthy to me. They, I mean, they got some weight to them. So here's a smaller cable for that ground just to tie your chassis together and your manual and i'll just kind of isn't that funny i opened it up to a page with no color and another one but it is full of honest i'll get there yeah here's some information about power and so yeah there we go there's the color pages i was thinking about but that's what the display is going to look like. And there's remote display. That's pretty cool looking. And that's what that looks like now. And there's a, a little mounting guide, I think, is what that is. Okay, let's power the scene up and take a look. I wanted to show you these, these old plastic caps with the ribbing, the features inside. And you see the little clips that grab. But these things fit pretty tight. So I don't want to keep on putting them on, put, pulling them off, because I don't want to possibly damage them. But yeah, they just slide on, they just push it, and it locks in, okay? So that's a nice touch that they provide those, I think. All right, guys, we're ready to do it. Now, I'm just using these little this little cable, because I just want to turn it on. We're not going to run a load right now. And I got set for 13.39 volts, okay? So here, and it's set for 5.5 amps. So 13.4, 5.5 amps, okay? 
So let's come over here. Now I'm gonna come over here and hit the switch, but let's watch the display. Pretty nice, right? 13.1, and look, the output's ramping up. Soft start, so that's pretty cool. 121 volts, 120 volts. 20C, zero watts out. And it's a smiley face. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to charge, I guess. It's kind of giving me this kind of information on the cell. Here, let me bring up the voltage to 14 volts. Okay, here, let me show you this. It says 9.5 to 15.5, okay? So I'm going to come over here and go 14.5. I'm just curious if those color cells change. 14.7, 14.8, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just the color they are. So I'm not sure what that means. 14.6 is showing on the input. That's pretty cool. And with no power out, I'm pulling about 0.35 amps, okay? Now check this out. If I lower the current limit down to say, I don't know, two amps, so that's battery with not a lot of umph, right? So say two amps. Okay, then I come over here, everything's fine because it's all charged up. I don't know what's gonna happen, I haven't tried this yet, but I turn it off and let the caps discharge a little bit. Okay, I'll turn it on. Everything's fine. Okay, everything's fine. I didn't know if it would be. So here I'm gonna crank it down to one amp. Let's see what happens. I wanna see if it doesn't think it has a good, I, I, I'm just kind of wondering what kind of in rush current it has to charge us up. Like how weak of a battery can you use? Okay, that came up fine. All right. That's good. So it has the soft start. Doesn't need a lot of current when it starts up. Here, I'm gonna turn off the switch. Let's just see what this battery shows as I power it up. Okay, right now it's pulling 0 0.01 amps. I'm gonna wait just a moment here. Let things discharge. Now nothing's on the output, so it's AC output. So I can't imagine it has uh, very much capacitance. Okay, ready? I'm gonna turn it on. Here it goes. Wow, it only jumped up to, okay, then jumped up to, okay, look, it did go to CC. Oh, and you heard the beeps. It did, it did fight, it struggled for a minute, and the batteries turned off. It's still struggling, and it's still locked. It's still saying CC. It's dropped the voltage down to 10. So if it's totally starting from zero, okay, I think it's slowly starting to charge, maybe. It's still, okay, now it's 14.8, and then it's one amp, so it's going back and forth. It's toggling on and off. So here, let me crank up the current. One and a half amp. Okay, there's, whoops, one and a half amps. Okay, let's see if that's enough. I'm just playing around. Okay, so it needs a little bit of current, which is what I suspected. That's why I was kind of surprised that it, Seem to start up so easy. Okay, two amps. Okay, two amps seems fine. So it's happy. The output's starting to come up. Yep, the output came up. So it needs a little bit of current. And you know what? Any kind of battery you have hooked up, as long as it has, you know, two amps capability, it can it can start this up. And then there you go. So I mean that's only 24 watts, right? 12. Well. 14.8 would be, you know, say 15 times, so 30 watts, rough, it's less than 30 watts. So, all right, so that was kind of cool. Check it out, guys. We got a remote display. It's the same as that display, except for it's larger. Pretty cool. You just plug it in to that port right there, plug it into that guy, and lo and behold, it provides power and information, and you got a remote display. Same display, just remote. But you got some buttons here. So you got a backlight button. Oh, that's turned off to save on your battery, I guess. Oh, that's smart. Okay, 110 to 220, so you can change that and then on off. 
Oh, look, turns off the inverter. Cool. Nice. I like it. Okay, guys, next video, I'm going to fully test this. We're going to power it up, take wattage out of it, and we're going to check how clean the signal is at low power. Sometimes that's a problem. And then we'll take the power up and check it there. You know, at low power, sometimes there's, it needs a little bit of power to be pulled off of it to do its thing. So we'll check both things. But WXNE, guys, WXNE, give them a thumbs up for sending this out to us for uh, checking it out. I'll put the price down below. Appreciate you using those links. And if there's a discount code, it'll be down there with the link, okay? I don't remember if they sent me one or not, but... You know, it looks really nice. I hope it tests great. But so far, I really like the, the, the remote. That cable is pretty long. It's got to be at least 25 feet. But it's pretty long. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even check the remote. You know what? I'll do the remote next video, okay? But, yeah, that was funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Two big thumbs up to my patrons and my... Uh, YouTube members and Danny being a team member. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, guys, you can join down below. Super thank you Ben is down there. Guys, I'm really excited about this. I have another inverter over there. I'm going to tear down and do a full review on two. That's kind of been waiting for me. But now I've got two inverters. I got some projects to do. So kind of excited about it. Oh, so that project I have, um, what I might do is help a friend put up in the cabin up in the woods where we replace lead acid batteries with lithium and we put a new charge controller up there a new mppt well there's another building he has that we might put some solar panels on we'll need an inverter and some batteries so this might come in really handy all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time